How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for family medicine slash internal medicine for 2CK, medium difficulty question for step one. Uh, very high yield points I will quickly run through here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The link's to the Telegram group and channel down below. And I start the clips A 24-year-old man, one week history of neck pain palpitations. Five pounds, weight loss during this time, pulse is 110. He has an enlarged thyroid gland. He has a 2 on 6 systolic ejection murmur along the left sternal border. Serum T4 is elevated. Radioid on uptake scan shows decreased uptake. Question wants to know the most likely diagnosis. So let's just run through the answer choices here. Choice A, adenoma, which refers to toxic adenoma. Wrong fucking answer. If this were the case, yes, we'd have hyperthyroidism as we do in this case, but we would have increased uptake. That's focal. Okay, let's say a nodular, a single nodular uptake, focal nodular uptake. Okay, very easy. Uh, this is all over two CK exams and is past level. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B lymphocytic infiltration, anti microsomal antibodies, wrong answer. This refers to Hashimoto thyroiditis, aka chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis. So if you know that. Uh, for Hashimoto, the eponymous name, if you know that the other name for it is chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, then you know that it would be lymphocytic infiltration, which they ask this on 2CK. Sounds extraordinarily step one-esque, but they'll give you a family medicine question or they just give you an easy vignette of Hashimoto, and the answer is lymphocytic infiltrate, okay? Antimicrosomal antibodies, I mean, it's just the same thing as antithyroperoxidase. You can also get antithyroglobulin antibodies, but that's hypothyroidism, decreased T3, T4, increased TSH. Clearly, we have an increased T4 here. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, release of preformed thyroid hormone is the correct answer. So this is decuervain thyroiditis, a.k.a. subacute granulomatous or subacute thyroiditis. And this is going to be the diagnosis when we have a tender or painful thyroid on USMLE. Now, thyroiditis can be hypo or hyperthyroid but they often like to give it to you hyper. And the reason they do that is because uptake, radioiodine uptake in the thyroid gland and thyroiditis is always low. So if they give you hypothyroidism with uh, thyroiditis, obviously you know uptake would be low. So this is a way to assess that you know uptake is supposed to be low always, even if you're hyperthyroid. That's what we see in thyroiditis. We don't have production of thyroid hormone here. We just merely have release of thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland because there's increased spacing between the cells. We have an, an inflamed thyroid gland. So whether it is dequervain, viral infection induced, they don't have to say viral infection, okay? They just can give it to you simply like this. So whether it's viral infection induced, uh, such as in dequervain, whether it's postpartum thyroiditis, whether it's drug induced, lithium amiodarone, and you have uh, hyperthyroidism, okay, it's always going to be decreased uptake, all right? So any thyroiditis release a preformed thyroid hormone you need to know. So let's just quickly, oh, and I should mention the 2 on 6 systolic ejection murmur here. This is just a flow murmur, okay? You'll see this in a variety of vignettes. It's a functional murmur. The only reason we have it is because the heart rate is high. So we have increased flow across the aortic or, or the pulmonic valve, can be either. And you'll see this frequently in pediatrics vignettes, especially with infections. You can see this in OBSGYN vignettes with increased plasma volume, okay? So don't go chasing uh, valvular abnormalities. It's just a functional murmur. Heart rate comes down, murmur abates. So quickly just run through some other points here. Surreptitious thyrotoxicosis, wrong fucking answer. This is just injection of thyroid hormone. So... In that, if that were the case, yes, we'd have a hyperthyroidism where the patient has decreased uptake, but they're not going to give you a tender or painful thyroid gland. It's as simple as that. And you're not going to have an enlarged thyroid gland either with surreptitious thyrotoxicosis. You'd have a small, non-palpable thyroid gland, okay? You have a decreased uh, stimulation of the thyroid gland. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy tangential, but for the step one uh, folks, you guys watching this clip, you should know that injection of... T4 will cause high T4, high T3, decreased TSH, makes sense. If you are injecting uh, triiodothyronine, T3, you're going to have increased T3, decreased T4, holy shit, and you're going to have decreased TSH. The reason is because you can get peripheral conversion of T4 to T3, but not the other way around. We don't get, perf we don't get any peripheral conversion of T3 to T4. So if you inject T3, it's going to suppress your TSH, shut off endogenous production of T4. T4 is low. Okay. If you inject T4, it's high. Clearly you're injecting it and it will be converted to T3 peripherally. So T3 is also high. 
They ask this stuff on the NBMEs for step one. It's also my high yield arrows PDF, okay? I'll link it down below. You can uh, practice that stuff. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, wrong answer. TSI, this is Graves' disease. This is just the name of the antibody that activates the TSH receptor in Graves' disease, okay? So high, we would have high T3, T4. We'd have increased uptake. It would be diffuse uptake, okay? It's type 2 hypersensitivity. So, I mean, you clearly just uh, need to be able to differentiate these high-yield conditions for you assimilating, okay? This is past-level stuff for 2CK in particular. For step one, I mean, the wording of these answer choices, okay, I mean, I'll give it to you, maybe medium difficulty, but uh, I'll link my uh, high yield arrows PDF below and give you some practice with the thyroid hormone questions. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.